This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series. And in today's video, we are going to cover one Power Query function table dot combine columns what does it do table dot combine columns takes a table source column list combiner function and the final column name and it returns a table so basically in power query this is typical thing which happens we take a table we do certain operation and we return back a table with some additional information or some transformation which you are doing so here we are going to get a combined column and what is going to happen here is one example is given let's try to understand table dot combined column we are creating a table from record where we are getting first name and last name and then we are combining it and we are saying okay you combine the first last name comma first name that's how we wanted it last name comma last name and first name separated by comma quote style is none and the d name it is a full name so we actually end up getting which is table which is actually full name only so we will get a record full name and then this is only one record table but let's try it out let's try with more records so time to jump onto the power bi let's go to the power bi and in power bi under the home tab we have transform data transform data which will take us to power query and in power query i have already have few tables so i have this table table one table two let me try it on table two which is a little bit smaller table having column a b and c d c space d not c and d so let's try a new code and we add a new table by saying home new source blank query so let's modify this code right click as advanced editor and in this advanced editor let's use table dot combine columns okay let's see what so first one is table so table 2 is something which we need next one is the source columns so let's give the list of columns b comma a and we have a data type uh, which are different so we have to see that whether it is going to accept that or not the function we are going to copy it from here let's copy the function combiner see text by delimiter that's where i thinking it might create a problem for us but let's see and then we have the final argument which is the new column name so let's call it a b okay so it's giving an error here and the error it is giving because one of them is text and another one of them is a number so that's why it is giving an error here okay so let's do one thing let's take a table where we have both of them as text and combine it so i'm going to quickly create that one so let me create a table table three and let me have two columns a and b and let's have sir a a b b So we created certain records now let's call it table 3 now we got the table 3 now we'll go here and write down table 3 let's try now we got the combined column let's see can we give a space here is only one character more than one yes you can give more than one character so we are able to get a new column which is combined version of the two columns in the same table so we got a new table which is having the combined version of these two columns which are already present in that particular table now let's do one thing let's go to the table 3 and add one more additional column and let's not include that into the the so uh, the addition the uh, two columns which we are appending so we double click on the source we go to the source and double click here and it will give us so we can create a new column c and let's give value like 
a1 a2 a3 and let's give one value as blank okay, and say ok and now we come back to query 4 and let's rename this also let's say table combine column and you can see that you know tables because c was not included in the merge the c is still coming whatever it is now let's see if we can include the c also so i say third column is basically c okay what happens in that case now the c also getting merged with the this one so whatever number of columns you are giving in this list they are getting combined and rest of the columns will remain same they will be part of your table so it takes a table in that table whatever columns you want to combine it is going to combine those set of columns and rest of the column is going to come as is so that's what table dot combine columns is for you okay so go ahead and try that out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you